Hey guys, looks like I got my finally got my one of my battery boxes in the mail. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can pick this up. Uh, I picked it off of Amazon for about 50 bucks. It's actually a pretty good deal, considering the guy sent it all sent it out all the way from Hong Kong Express through UPS, which is totally totally blows my mind. So here it is. Um, it's about 50 bucks. There's your brackets. It's all metal. Not too sure why that part there is metal. I guess that's where you'd put your BMS, I guess. And your wiring. But, uh, anyway, the inside. Brackets for your sills. Put in there nicely. Uh, set of keys. Another bracket for the other side. You've got your voltmeter. This one's 48. Now that's your. I believe it's a charge jack. It says push. Yeah, charge jack. I think I have a plug for that too. That I've never used. Get a chance to use it now. I've already been inside of it and pulled the screws out. But uh, it's a pretty solid little unit. Uh, this one, this one here also has the uh, 48 volt to 5 volt uh, USB, which I'll likely be taking that out. Not too sure how that works actually. There's no. Does that work? There's no dongle with it. Oh, uh, wait a minute. There's a piece missing. Well, it's not a big deal, but uh, the inverter that goes with this is missing. Because this here just goes directly to, that's just the voltmeter. Basically, you push the button and it shows the volts. There's supposed to be a part for that, unless it's still in the box. Let's take a look here. Nope. The bag. And nope. Wow, that just blows. Uh, still a good seller if you're looking for one. He sh shot it out pretty quickly. Uh, but uh, that's just basically a direct connection there. The uh, the DC to DC inverter is missing. <laughs> oh well. It's alright, because what I was going to say is what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove it. And I'm going to put a... Uh, a lead in there to for... Uh, Balancing the uh, pack, but uh, we're not going to use this one for the um, the uh, lithium cells. I still got to get more of those. I want to end up getting another one for that. We're going to be putting these ones into it. Uh, I'm going to pull all the nickel strips off and resolder it, and uh, I'm going to be ordering a um, a tab welder with new nickel strips, and uh, we're going to be rebuilding these clean them right up and I'm going to be making this into a booster pack it'll be a uh, 4, 4S 12 volt uh, I don't know how many amp hours it's going to be how many cells I got here but I got to get all these in this so that should be fun let's see how much would fit in there yes yeah, so you're looking at Half of the pack, probably go to about there. Extra three, that'll be gone. How many layers can we go up before the lid won't go on? That's what I want to know. All that and all these wires. No, that's not bad. Wouldn't be able to get them all in there. It'd be a tight fit, but that's all right. That's why I want to tell you. I don't want them floating around. So we can go three high, and then the rest. It's just a matter of um, cutting them up and trying to get them in there. <laughs> Might even have to lose the uh, power switch. That's all right. As long as I can get them all in that one pack, that's a uh, give them a new home. 
I'm not going to bother hacking this up. Um, because, well, I mean, I could do it, but I'm not going to get that many cells in it by doing it. I'll save it for the, uh, for the other cells. But I figured I'd make a video to show you this. And like I said, the guy went out of his way to send it out. And I don't know how he makes any money doing it, but whatever. I got what I paid for in rapid time. So, see you later, guys.